Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So welcome to the new tutorial on NLTK. So let's get started with the tutorial. So basically what you need to do, uh, you need to first import NLTK. And this is a basic library you have to import. So now I'll give a quick, quick over, overview of like this is a text paragraph and this is a demo words. So first today we will start with stop words. Okay, so what you can do, you can do NLTK.download stop words so basically this would download the package uh, you can refer to the previous tutorial how you can download this and then you can do from nltk dot stop words okay uh, from sorry uh, nltk dot corpus this should be nltk dot corpus corpus import import uh, you need to import stop words okay now what you need to do uh, you need to define stop words as a parameter stop underscore words is equal to stop words and you need to define uh, like we will be making this a set okay since like uh, we will be making this as a set because uh, there can be uh, like I'll show you how stop words dot words and you need to define the language English okay okay and let's print this uh, first I'll print the simple one the simple way print stop underscore words okay and I can move this to the uh, like we can have this here yeah now it's perfectly fine now let's run the file python 2.py and let's run this and here you can see that the stop words are uh, like imported from the library and you might be seeing that there might be some words which are repeating themselves uh, like may maybe there can be a, a, a like there might be a reason that some words are repeating themselves so i uh, just wanted to have this inside a set so that was i was saying it earlier but didn't want it to confuse you so now we can import like put this in a set and you can see like we might have reduced some size like yes and this list this is we, how we can do it okay so i've put this in a set uh it would be easy for you uh, to show you the difference later as well okay so yeah so now what we can do uh, we need to tokenize this sentence okay so I showed you in the previous tutorial how we can tokenize so we need to like uh, we need to do one thing from NLTK uh, let's let's do this from NLTK dot tokenize import word underscore tokenizer and another was the sent underscore tokenizer so let's import this word underscore tokenize and another is sent underscore tokenize okay now what we can do uh, this is words is equal to word underscore tokenize this and we are putting inside a text and let's print the words okay okay and we shall comment this out because this is oh like yeah yeah now let's run this and you can see that we have already uh, like welcome you to programming knowledge so we have already uh, tokenized our sentence okay so it looks good to go okay i can also comment this because this is now not necessarily needed okay and what i want to do what i want to do uh, I want to create uh, like this uh, has some stop words and I want to remove those stop, stop words so what I can do now I can create a logic okay I can create a logic and remove the stop words from here and use I will use very simple python comprehension okay without stop underscore words is equal to an empty array for word in uh, like I can give the give this as a tokenize underscore word for word in tokenize underscore words okay so this is as same as this and i can also like just a second just okay i'll press control c and yeah now it's good to go for word in tokenize underscore word okay if word if word not in stop underscore words then without stop words okay so 
I can also improve this to this. Like we do this as this is tokenize words without stop words. So I can do tokenize words without stop words dot append word. Okay. So I hope this is fine and then I can print print tokenize words without stop words. Like I, ho I hope this is clear. First I initialize an empty array for word in tokenize underscore a word not a stop words. Uh, this is very simple python logic and I can now make a clear, uh, clear and I can do python 2.py. So here you can see now I have a uh, like array which is a tokenized words without stop words. So if you want to see the difference, if in case what you want to do, see the difference. So what you can do, uh, you know, this is a set. Yeah, I made this to a set and this is a list. So what I can do print set tokenized words minus a uh, set stop underscore words. Okay, so that was a uh, uh, set already, but I just made it to like have a better readability. So readability and now I will run this. So here you can see the difference is these words. Okay, so so here you can see. Okay, uh, like okay, I no 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 no. I made a, some uh, like sorry. Uh, this is a, a wrong logic. Sorry, I'll move this. I'll con I'll completely remove this. This is something wrong. I went wrong. Okay, sorry. So what I do want to do? So I wanted to see the difference set tokenize words without stop, stop words and this should be subtracted with set tokenize uh, with this this is the tokenize words okay so that was a I went something wrong with that logic uh, now we want to see that there are some words and tokenize words which have been subtracted from tokenize words without stop words okay so this will show that which were the words and when I run this file I'll make a clear statement now I'll run this file. So here you can see that basically these were the words which were removed as stop words. Okay. So basically this were the stop words which were removed because these were the tokenized words and uh, which is a set now. And from that set, we are removing those words which are without stop words. So basically these words are going to be something which were extra in our tokenized words. Okay. So like I also now print tokenized words. This will make you clear. And I also print uh, tokenized words without step words, stop words. Now I'll run this. So now you, here you can see that with is a word. With is a word, okay, which exists here. Like I, I'm also highlighting with is a word which exists here. In the tokenized words but it doesn't exist in the tokenized with words without stop words because it was stop words so it was removed that's very clear that's in the same way these all words were also present that is r was present r is present here but it is not present in this array so i wanted to show you the difference okay so so we can type this as words stop words which got removed okay the simple logic is like the stop words which got removed are these words okay the stop words which got removed are this and so and these are uh and the other variables are like very defining these are tokenized words and these are tokenized words without stop words so i can also run again and this shall make you very stop words which got removed are this the here to are or with on and you are the words which got removed okay so these are the words which got removed. So this is how we deal with stop words. And in case you want to make very clear, uh, you can type tokenize, tokenize words, okay, which included all, okay, which included, which included all the words, okay, okay, which included all the words, including stop words. Okay. and if you want to make this very clear now you can do this is without top words okay so now what you can do i can clear this and run this and now i can see the stop words which got removed 
uh, is this for tokenized words which included all the words including stop words these are the words and this is without stop words okay so here you can see since this is without stop words it has a shorter length and array so thank you everyone i'll catch you in the next tutorial then we shall cover with lemmatization and stem, uh, stemming and we shall also focus on sentiment analyzer thank you everyone